Greetings and salutations. This is Evelina O'Malley, Lady of the Ramp. Yes, I know I sound a bit meh right now, but it's mostly because. If you've been keeping, you're out there and dealing with the news and everything, especially that considering the LGBT society, I think you kind of understand why. But for those who have not, um, so far in the past, mm, we'll say two weeks at least, there has been quite a thing about that. First, I find out the radio, local radio station had to sign a, had to apologize to the LGBT group due to all the hate speech that has led to people actually trying to harm people who are a transgender. I might be getting this wrong, okay? I just might. You know, you can go check it out. I'll have a link down below. I don't even know. I think that link might be disabled. I keep trying to look it up. <laughs> um, also, another would be, let me get to my history. Yeah, next time I'll try to have this a little bit more done. Oh, oh yeah, there's been a gay makeout session that completely silenced the Canvas Preacher, which is awesome and everything. I believe I saw it on Huffington Post. Hmm. It was in the state of Iowa. Huh. Let's see. Reminding me. And basically they did. A trio of Iowa-based religious scholars pinned and a opt at in a local paper this week. Reminding readers that despite popular opinion, the Bible does not define marriage as between one man and one woman. The joint editorial was written by Hector Avalos, that's the best I can pronounce his name, sorry, Robert R. Cargill and Kenneth Atkins, and published by a Des Moines Register on Sunday. The men teach at Iowa Youth. Iowa State University, University of Iowa, and University of Northern Iowa. The debate about marriage equality, and this is a quote, the debate about marriage equality often centers, but however, discreetly on an appeal to the Bible. Well, the authors wrote, unfortunately, such appeals often reflect a lack of biblical literacy on the part of those those who use the complex co collection of texts as an authority to enact at modern social policy. Okay. The Bible's this definition of marriage can be confusing and contradictory. Noted the scholars, they also stated in their column that a primary example of this uh, religious book stands on polygamy. Good for them. A practice that is embraced by a prominent biblical figures, Abraham and David. Furthermore, yeah, pretty much it's just going to be an argument about how dare they you know, how can you judge someone else sort of thing, and I totally agree with them. I like that they're getting them on a lot of stuff like that. I've had enough with 
these people saying you cannot get married because of this or that or whatever. You know, you have no right to be telling people can do. Now, there's also some other depressing things that have turned up in our society that involve a gay community. Now, this is more for, it turns out, there was a lesbian student that attended a Christian school, Christian private school, and basically, it was, you know, well, I have a video of it, it was on, I believe the Young Turks, they're pretty good at making sure you get a whole view of what's going on in the world. It's a title of the local media, I swear. They will tell you one thing, and then they won't tell you another. You know, or they'll tell it, and it's a kind of a bent truth thing, like, oh, oh, you, you know, Americans are so stupid, they can't possibly understand what's going on in the media. So, we... Dumb it down so it's not so bad. <sighs> However, this girl basically went to a private school, and this Catholic private school is withholding her credits from her based upon the fact that she's a lesbian. No other reason, just, yeah. There can be no lesbians at our school. Well, because since we're a Catholic Christian school, we can't have that. As you know, I'm a Christian, and I get real tired of that. You know, where? Where does it say anywhere in our Bible to hate on Christians? And don't bring up that Romans 13 nonsense. That... That is just, or not Roman 13, there, I know there's something in Leviticus, I could probably look it up, I, I'm going to say that for my Bible something saying, and later on, yeah, I'm going to Bible something to Bible something, but not, you know, I'm going to be honest, you can't judge other people by that book anymore, and you shouldn't in the first place. However... I feel very sorry for this girl because it's just wrong, you know. But I mean, seriously, folks, what could she have possibly done other than that that she couldn't do? But anyways, yeah, I find it depressing that anyone has any right to tell somebody based on any reason other than you know we don't like those people. I mean. As you see, and probably hear, I'm a black person. And, yeah, you know, there was a time where my people were not even allowed to go to the big old fancy white schools. That's because, you know, those parents just couldn't bear to have their children around them. And, so, when I hear about this sort of thing, it angers me. Because it was one thing to keep us out. I mean, it, it's still wrong. It's still wrong. It's no matter what you say or do. It was one thing to keep us out because, well, visually, yeah, I am different. Can't change it. But then you keep someone out because of their sexual orientation. Because this girl likes... Tends to find. I'm trying to insert something. Oh, 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 okay. She tends to like girls opposed to boys. She cannot graduate from the school. And, I mean, there there's other nonsense that has gone on. When I was a kid, and you know, Harry Potter and all that stuff, turns out, uh, one of the actors 
that played Dumbledore in the movie turned out to be gay. Yeah, he turned out to be gay. I don't have a problem with it. Frankly, I'm thinking, what the hell? No, what the bloody hell? Does it matter to you? I mean, I guess it does, apparently, or we wouldn't be having this conversation. And about it. However, in the scheme of things, they were not doing anything sexual. Harry is, well, as far as we know, Harry's not gay, okay, but who cares about that? It's not like I, in heck, the actor in this role is not, is, even if he was gay, does it really matter to you if he is or isn't? I mean, think about it. Is it really that big of a deal? But, no. Because he's not playing anyone who's gay. I'm thinking that's an insult to someone who is gay or lesbian that they have to play a certain role because of their gender orientation. Funny thing is, there have been gay actors that play multitudes of different roles that are for and are straight. They've already proven to us that they can do that. So, what the F? Sorry, and I apologize for the censorship, but still, what the F, folks? Seriously, what the... What? <sighs> However... Oh, on, on top of that, it turns out... I don't know if you all have heard of this show, but there's a show called She's Out, and it's premiering on the hub right now. Well, not right now, I usually on Saturdays. It's basically about a boy who finds this magical ring and when he puts it on, it turns him into like this female superhero, even though he doesn't really change his gender anyways. It's, but he ends up wearing, you know, women's outfit. Yeah. And people think it's LGBT is totally against totally LGBT is trying to brainwash our children. Oh my god. Yeah. I watched the show and part of me is thinking brainwash. Yeah. Yeah, I could see my little boy getting brainwashed by this show and to the thing is it's not even that kind of show. It's not even... It's not brainwashing anybody. It's fine. I mean, the jokes are kind of stupid. But, and of course, it's because it's a kid show. It's stupid. But, anyways, other than that, the show is just about a boy who finds a ring and happens to end up being a superhero. I mean, to, it's turned to a superhero that happened to be a girl. I mean, there's certain things that get on my nerves, like, does he have to always say, hey, does he always have to talk in, like, this effeminate tone? Because this really sounds stupid, and just to warn you people. I was like, you go, girl! Or, uh, she! Like, or something like that. I, I probably could find something where he does that voice, and I totally understand people not liking it. Just for the main fact, I was like, oh my god, sounds like... Yeah, it sounds like a voice that a man would take on to do that whole feminine voice. And then there's some... Uh, the show's okay, I just think of it as going to be kind of stupid. That's it. If I had to say anything about it, that's it. That really is all that it really is. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you all can see my eyes and my face. Yeah, I can do that black thing where my eyes pop out like this. Yeah. You won't be in that much, but anyways. Stop it. Okay, folks. These. Okay, you can have your opinion that it's a bad show. But then again, it's also a kid's show, so I don't know. I just think it's stupid because it's stupid, okay? But I do, 
when I found out about this show, I thought it was offensive to the gay community. I mean, not gay. LGBT community. I'm sure they prefer that phrase a lot better. T community, because, of course, it's the assumption that all lesbians and gay men like to dress up in, you know, opposite gender clothing. Funny thing is, that's not them. There are women out there who dress like that or are lesbians and they dress like girls. There are gay men out there who dress like men. And they don't wear pink. They don't try to be all uh, I you know, they don't try to be all Dear, it's not it is not it's Adam and Stefan, not Adam and Steve. That's what I'm saying. They're not effeminate and girly like that. And, and there are things called gay bros, which I'm thinking. I would never have thought those people would be, you know, on the side. And would never thought that they would just... Yeah, basically they're just men who are gay. Who are masculine. That is all. But I would think, why are they being tossed aside? It's just like how I look at lesbians, you know, same thing, you know. What if you're a lesbian, but you're a very feminine lesbian? Are you tossed to the side? Just saying. That, that group doesn't exactly get fair treatment. And then there's just, you know. But as far as we know, these people are just who they are. Can't help it. I like hearing about it because the thing is, in our society and the way it is, heck, just you liking something that boys like is not enough to make you uh, lesbian, is not enough to make you, you know, gay, none of these things. Not at all. But Probably a long time ago, I would have probably thought of this way because I tend to like wearing boys' clothes, as you see, and as I like wearing, except for the stupid cat logo. Uh, I guess it could be worn by a guy, but in fact, actually, this is probably the most masculine cat t shirt that I think I've worn. It's not saying guys can't wear girls' clothes or anything, I just think there's just not a I mean, I guess they could. It's a strong possibility, and there's no shame in it, really. There shouldn't be. I'm just thinking in our society. Hey, isn't as the whole sexuality thing is not so black and white. You know, wearing girls' clothes does not make you gay. Boys' clothes does not make you a lesbian. It's just that, let's say you're transgender. Yeah, you might like wearing boys' clothes more because it feels natural to you, but then again, that also could just make you a transvestite. Because, funny thing is, they're the ones who like wearing the girls' clothes. They're the ones who started this little stereotype, I guess, but I don't like to blame them. They're not the ones to blame. Please don't go out and... and please, just don't. I'm sorry, I was just saying. If anything, they're probably the ones who are more likely to be cross-dressers. Not to blame and point fingers, but just saying they're probably the ones that really are that way. Hey, but anyways, yeah, you know, these shows, these things that are supposed to be brainwashing the media, the children, into liking gay, you know, being gay, that's stupid. No one can make you gay, no TV show or, you know, at all can make you gay. No more than there's anything that can make you it can make a gay man or a gay woman straight. You are what you are. You cannot change your gender orientation. You should be set by the time you're six anyway. Hey. <sighs> However, I'm more interested in learning more about the bisexual community. Because they're the only ones I think, besides transgender, maybe, that we haven't talked much about. Because I'm thinking, 
Yeah, you know, there's a strong possibility some people might be bisexual and never know it. Because when you think about it, there are women out there I do think are attractive, maybe not in that way, but hell, there are probably girls out there who think Emma Watson is a pretty sexy fox, even though she's much older than what, yeah. <laughs> Or I would say, um, let's say Velma. This is also another thing I really hate about people doing this. Uh, if you've been watching the new Scooby Doo's Mystery Incorporated, which I'm sure a lot of people do, it's on Cartoon Network. I personally hate this show now because. Before, well, I didn't like Scooby Doo to begin with, other than maybe the reboot that appeared in the 1990s and the ghoul, you know, the ghoul thing. What, what was it? The certain number of ghouls. Anyways, that's not important. This is about the new reboot that's come out. Everything's pretty much fine, pretty much what you would think would happen. Like they've made. Finally got Daphne and Fred together. We already knew that was a thing. Um, but now Shaggy and Velma are together. And the worst thing that they've done to Velma, in my personal opinion, is they put bows on her head. Why? What is it with people and the whole tomboy thing nowadays. I mean, I'm a tomboy, for crying out loud. And I'm proud of it. No girl, no boy should be afraid to be a tomboy. Or, you know, I I don't really know what the male equivalent to a tomboy would be, and I don't want to say because I think it's offensive in my personal opinion. Just sorry. But, yeah, tomboys, it's me should have no shame, you know, go out and do what you want. Boys, wear girls clothes if you want to. In this world, who gives a freak anymore? Oh, just gonna you know, it's just the phone. Um, I guess the thing is, I don't really understand, I don't understand personally, the whole gay community. I just, I is coming back to knowing it. I understand there's a lot of stereotypes and I hope that gets out because they take those out of the media because I don't think that's fair because there was a time where us black people again were in the media and they did a lot of stuff with our, you know, with characters general looks like black people with big lips. I also seen that, uh, Fantasia clip somewhere, and that was something. It basically had uh, the centaurs, the female centaurs, and they had a black helper. And well, she's not ugly, but I could kind of see why they took it out. It's just some thing I don't describe they took it out. But yeah, I I do to say, um, I do tire of stereotypes in me of anyone, you know, the thing is, I'm not quite sure who who's offended by Mulan, I love Mulan, but I'm pretty sure it does offend some Asian people, like, they really think that's how we act over here, that's basically it, it's really more painful, like, it's what they think of us, as or think of those certain groups. I mean, when I was a kid, there were very few black people in the media. I mean, besides your Eddie Murphy, your Dougie Dugs, and maybe your Bill Cosby and King Kells. Yeah, that was pretty much it. That was, those were the black men stereotypes. I mean, there were black women, but if you watch Smart Guy, you kind of see why well, there aren't that many. I'm not really upset by it, but you get the idea. They're always 
either really loud, really, you know, yelled a lot, unless you watched, I think it was, oh, Saved by the Bell. That was it. I think that's all I remember. Anyways, that's my bit, and this is Evelyn O'Malley. Over and out. Okay. Good night, everybody.